I get asked this question all the time when I work events around the country. People will come up to me and want to narrow down specifically when is the best time for them to be catching bass, whether it's big trophy bass or, or just getting a bite. And usually the first thing that I do is ask them a question right back. Well, what do you like to fish? Or in other words, what is your fishing style and favorite lures? And by fishing style, I mean, are you an angler that traditionally likes to throw horizontal baits or vertical baits? By identifying what you prefer, that's gonna really help us look ahead and find weather conditions and situations that are gonna fit your style better. So let's start with the horizontal baits. If this is what you prefer to do, you're gonna to wanna to find conditions that has some low light. Now by low light, of course, morning and evening are gonna be good. But low light can also happen, of course, on cloudy days. Low light can happen when we've got a lot of wind out there. It, it narrows down the depth of that light penetration. On windy days, the sun cannot penetrate quite as far. And low light is also obviously created by shade, boat docks, trees, that type of stuff. So if you find yourself as a horizontal type of an angler, those are the presentations you like. Look for low light periods and for wind. The more wind that you have within reason, obviously, the better off that you're going to be. So as you're looking ahead on your phone app for the weather and you see two days from now, boy, the afternoon's gonna be cloudy and gonna be, you know, west winds at 10 to 12 miles per hour. Well, that might be a day that you do pretty good based on the way that you like to fish. Now let's go the other way. Let's say you're an angler that really prefers your vertical types of presentations, or I should say maybe your bottom bouncing baits. I definitely prefer to have some sunshine. I like those sunny, sunny days. And obviously if I have some chop, that's a good thing, better than a flat calm day. But when you have that intense sunshine, and I prefer kind of between those hours at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. when the sun is the highest, it's going to position those fish into predictable places. I know they're going to be down there towards the bottom. They're going to be buried up in the weeds. They're going to be underneath a dock or really piled up in a brush pile. So when I pull out my flipping jig, I know that in the middle of the day when that sun is out, I have a really, really good chance of finding those fish because they're in predictable locations. If you've got small areas of shade, small areas where there's not much sunshine, probably your vertical types of presentations. If you have larger areas of shade where the sun's not as intense, now you're gonna have the ability to throw more of those horizontal types of lures and the bass are gonna be up in that water column a little bit more on those cloudy, windy days. Now, as far as what I just talked about, this horizontal presentation, vertical presentation, low light, sunny light, this is primarily for largemouth bass, okay? Yes, it does transfer over to smallmouth as well, but smallmouth, they have times of the year when that sunshine thing is definitely an exception. Especially in the northern part of the country, there have been days when it's bright and sunny that I do really well on a smallmouth, and when the clouds and wind pick up, all of a sudden the bite dies down. Now usually that bite dies down because smallmouth are very oriented as sight feeders and they love to follow the bait fish. They move all the time. And when that wind picks up, usually it pushes those, that bait or those bait fish into a different type of an area and the smallmouth, they move, they follow those baits. So that's why if you're fishing in the morning, it's sunny and you're catching some smallies, then it clouds up and the wind blows and the bite stops, they move. Sunny days for smallmouth doesn't necessarily mean that a horizontal bait is out of the question. If you'd like to watch a video on nine different lures and how I choose them based on wind conditions, go ahead and check this one out right here. And don't forget to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.